God, you're a beast. Not easy. Yeah, that's not one of mine. Can't wait to see the bottom classifier. It should be loaded with gravel and diamonds. Check out those heavies. Here's some of the rocks that I saved. And I've got to go through all of these smaller rocks. There could be like a four carat with this stuff. It's that good. Here's my bucket of concentrates to take home. Looks like we've got a diamond right there. A flawless diamond. White. Yep. Diamond. That's a diamond, guys. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm at the Crater Diamond State Park. I'm going to dig a hole and get some gravel out and see some diamonds. I'll be digging in the South Trench. There's tons of gravel down there. Let's go get some gravel. Alright, I am almost to the South Wash. I've got to get my equipment out of my cage. Get down to the South Trench. Get some gravel out. I'm just trying to get like 10 buckets. I'm not after 40, 50 buckets like some of these guys are getting around here. All right, at the cage. My freaking key broke off in my lock. First day here. Like, great. Starting off good. Let's see, we'll probably need the slat board. Get the mud off the shovel. And I've got the shovel loaded. Let's get down there and see if we can get some gravel out. Well, looks like Dave's back. Here's all his buckets he's going to wash today. Nice little road he's got here. Take his road. A little muddy down here. Got a nice little road. Makes it easy to get around. Down in the south trench. Been working on a hole. Looking pretty good. I'm gonna have to get my probe and do some probing. I'm not sure how far the gravel is down there, but it was only like two feet down. All right, working away. And it looks like we have a can popping out, some type of artifact. Doesn't look very old, probably the 90s. Yeah, it's like a Pepsi can. We definitely want the old cans with the pull tabs. You find those, that means those old timers like James Archer and Claude Dill were out here digging away. I have run into some green clay over here on this side. Look at that, nice and green. That's always a good indicator. Fresh virgin material underneath it. The gravel is really crunchy in this area as well. I want to try to target that spot for sure. What I'm doing right now is I'm getting my hole ready and I'm just kind of taking off a foot, not really digging a hole. I'm just taking out a foot and checking out the different colors of the material it all looks to be about the same throughout this whole entire hole but once i get over here it starts to turn green and i like the way this looks so i'm going to focus on getting this area sloped and ready to dig a hole and according to one of the regulars claude dill who found over thousands he found over two thousand diamonds he loved finding that green color of material just like that and if you're wondering how much does it cost to get into the crater of diamonds it is now fifteen dollars fifteen dollars it's seventy five dollars a month to rent one of these cages to keep all your stuff in it used to be like you know when i started thirty dollars it was uh, eight dollars to get in or maybe it was ten i don't know that was eight, it was eight bucks. Definitely changing out here. I'm not sure why back at the war zone and I went up there to grab some buckets and I didn't even get one. Gotta go back. So right here, I pierced in and well, a whole bunch of gravel came up. 
not the really small fine gravel but there is but there is some gravel starting to show up it's definitely not the layer I'm after but anytime you find any type of gravel you want to save it and wash it there's some little rocks in here getting smaller I'm gonna save all that wash it and see what's in it sometimes there's diamonds in that stuff you don't have to get the stuff that's eight ten feet down was a miner out here back in the 70s and 80s his last name was Hal I believe maybe his first name Hal I don't know but he liked to chase this shallow layer he wouldn't really go for that deep stuff he would just go for this stuff right here and find diamonds he found lots of diamonds Jasper. Shit. Huge piece of red jasper. So we're on to something good. We got that red jasper showing up. Red. I mean the stainless iron makes it heavier than the other material. And the diamonds are heavy er, so they'll be with the heavy material. Okay, now I'm going to work on getting some buckets washed. These have been in my cage for quite a while. I need to get all these buckets freed up for the hole that I'm going to dig. That would have plenty of buckets. I don't want to run out of buckets. You never want to run out of buckets digging a hole. If you're digging a hole out here and you don't have enough buckets, you're an amateur. All right, I got eight buckets up here. These buckets are from a hole. Just the top layer, not a lot of gravel. Let's see what we got. Here is the last bucket of that top layer and I'm seeing all the indicators I like to see. Small piece of conglomerate. It's like a little piece of agate that's like solid white. I'm also noticing this little green rock. Kind of odd. I don't see that very often. Lots of clay. I need to break up. Lots of red jasper. Not seeing any quartz. Ooh, oh, that's really neat. It's almost a pink color. What's that? Maybe some calcite. And that's just out of a layer that was only four inches maybe six inches thick two buckets just washed one of the buckets from the east drain and there's several pieces of agate check that one out that's some really nice color awesome and also this piece right here got some it's like druzy and some bubbles just an amazing piece that last bucket we just looked at I was wrong that came from a hole because this right here is from the east drain you can see all the bareca and maybe some lamprite there's a nice piece of agate but yeah I was wrong on that last hole on that last bucket we looked at that was from a hole I'm not sure where it came from these are buckets that have been in the bottom of my cage so I'm not sure if any of these are from a hole or from the east drain. I've got them all mixed up. But that's definitely east drain material right here. Gonna wrap it up for today. My glove has a hole. My glove has a hole in it, allowing that ice cold water to enter. And I just can't handle that 
ice cold water. So we're gonna have to get some gloves and get back out here tomorrow and finish up digging away in the hole, trying to reach the gravel when I come across something metal right here. I'm not sure what that is. It's just like a round, round piece of metal. It's definitely solid. Or is that sandstone? It's like sandstone. Yep, that's like just a big chunk of sandstone. Oh, okay. Looks like metal. That reddish color. Yeah, just another big sandstone. Been pulling them things out like crazy. We even got a conglomerate out of this hole. Not sure where it went to. Hmm. Dang it. Had a conglomerate. But I don't see it anywhere. Dang, lost my conglomerate. Yeah, maybe we'll get another one. All right, fossil arm. No artifact. No hidden treasures. Been digging and digging. I'm out of breath. I found some gravel and some greenish looking material right over here. So we found some green over there, but now the green showing up here with gravel. Believe it or not, I was filling gravel. And it could just be this greenish volcanic tuff type material. No really jasper and quartz and all that stuff. But you don't know until you wash it. It's hard to just look at it and say, oh yeah, there's no diamonds. Okay, I'm about, I don't know, two, three foot down. I'm going to do a little probing. We are getting close to the gravel. rock this stuff's weird it's pretty wavy it's just not a solid bed really patchy got a couple more shovels down in that spot over there it's three more feet really wavy over here I don't know what that is. That sounds like, it sounds and feels like a rubber bouncy ball. I went through it and it's just solid crunch. We need to focus over here. I'm not sure what that thing is. It feels like a rubber ball. Hell. Hell, the fucking gravel. Get fucking this. Mm-hmm. 
different. dirt and mud and clay but there's some rocks in there so I'm going to save it and wash it <sighs> not what we're looking for man that sucks <sighs> shit all right I dug a little more out and got to the better layer that I'm looking for it looks pretty good so far it could just be a half a foot or six foot deep but it's time to pierce into that it's nice and brown or white and brown almost has that yellow crunch look to it like where the yellow diamonds and we've got water there's that weird thing. I'm not sure what it was. What is this? What is this? Big rock. That's a big rock. We've got water in this hole. Just not understanding this stuff. bucket we've got a bucket I found a bucket guys <laughs> oh what is that what is it it's a bucket that's upside down <sighs> we found a bucket check out this bucket I just found if I'm down in this hole and I pierced through something earlier with my probe, and that's what it was, this white bucket. You get this bucket out. Underneath that bucket is some amazing gravel. Anytime you find a bucket, Barry, there's going to be good diamond ore underneath that because the there was one regular in particular. He wasn't here every day, so he had to hide his gravel that he'd find, and he would put stuff over the gravel so while he was gone, the regulars out here probing every day wouldn't feel that crunch they would feel that thump or a weird feeling and just move along Let's see if i can't get this bucket out on video man every time that guy was in gravel he found like two carat diamonds and stuff Yeah. <sighs> 
this is the badass stuff. This is the stuff you get dirty for, you get muddy, you let snot run out your nose. You don't stop and eat, you don't stop and take a break. You get this shit out as fast as you can. Look at this stuff, guys. This is the good stuff. That's just solid gravel. It washes so good. The diamonds are normally flawless. boot. Damn, that bucket won't even budge. Come on, bucket. Here it comes. Let's try and... Ugh. Won't go. Uh, one thing to do. Plan B. I'm trying to find my fork. Oh crap, I don't even see it. Yeah, that's not one of mine. Uh. 
All right, let the good thong grow. Not easy. Oh, it's not in favor. That's crazy. That's so cool. Oh, How long is this cooking you to do? Well, I've been at it all day. Wow. You're in the water table. Yeah, I got a little water. Usually good. Slows me down. That's amazing. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. Good. Get some of this stuff. What are you looking for? This stuff. <laughs> All this mud and gravel. That's it. Are you searching for diamonds? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to get the gravel that's never been looked at or messed with. Let's start. Take it you have better luck doing that than taking the topsoil. Oh, they're out there. They're, they're all over. You never know where, where it could be. Some people like to do it this way. Some do better on this, you know, just surface hunting, you know. <sighs> yep. Huh? Oh, they vary. Um, some are only two feet down and some are 10 feet. Yeah, but it just depends which. Some are. I act like the deeper you go, the better. Man. I don't want to do this. That's heavy. Yeah, he saw you digging and wanted to come over and check it out. Oh. <laughs> yep, that's it. Another bucket down here. I've got a green bucket right there. Green bucket. Oh, can't feel my arms. Can't stop. Got to keep going. Not gonna work either. Cramping up, guys. I'm already cramping up. Shit. Two, four, 
working on bucket number six. And really one of those buckets is just junk. Damn it. Right, I've got to make a I gotta get my bucket down here. I can't do that. I'm never gonna make it. more than a shovel to dream about holding anyway. I got 10 buckets out of the hole. Took every bit of energy I have, started cramping up. But that's some good gravel. I bet we see some diamonds, big ones. And there they are, the 10 buckets I just removed about three foot down. Working on getting the buckets up to my cage and storing them overnight. I've got four more out in the field to go get, and then we'll call it a day. It's been a long time since I've dug a deep hole like that. My shoulders are just killing me. My legs are killing me, my ankles, my wrists, my head. The way that the dozer operator out here is plowing the field, it's making it very difficult to walk across every little hump. He's not leaving uh, like a walkway because he's plowing different than they've ever plowed in the history of the Crater of Diamonds. I don't know why they're doing this, but it's making it very hard to walk across. Let's take a look at it. So here's a good example. This has been plowed months ago, and you can see how the rows are going this way. You're not gonna get any erosion like that. They used to plow it in going north and south, not east and west. And then when they're doing it like this, we don't have a trail to walk up. You've got to literally, you're tripping. Every step you take is a trip hazard. If you're ever surface hunting and you see a really sparkly shine on the ground and you walk up to it and it's a little piece of glass on a rock and you're really mad. <laughs> well, I'm the one that put that there. <laughs> Almost there. We did it. Oh, yes. Ah. We did it. Whew. You think you can do this? You think you're strong enough? <laughs> you're not. If you think you are, come on out here and give it a try. <sighs> We've had NFL players come out here and walk off. Just working the surface. <laughs> it was too hard. Uh, I'll never forget that one guy that was like seven foot tall. He was like, I don't know, 350, solid muscle. He seen me down in one of my holes and he says, I'd hate to fight you. And I said, I know. <laughs> he kept on digging. And he just smiled and laughed. I am on my second day of my trip. I've got 10 buckets out of the hole. It's time to get those buckets washed, 
check out all the gravel see if we have any beautiful diamonds on the flip and if not the rest of the material i don't search through and that's the final step that's going over your centers on a pizza pan or a cookie sheet or a flat surface and you look at every single little rock to make sure you find the little diamonds and some people have found 30 point almost half carat diamonds going through the final step Bucket number one. Barely pick it up. They're about 70 80 pounds. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the stuff, guys. This is the stuff. This is the stuff. Conglomerate. Oh, my God, I feel like I'm glomerate. Oh, my God. I don't know. 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 I mean, some James Archer stuff. See some pretty nice diamonds. That guy knew what the. If he marked his hole, he was going back for more. Broken Jasper, that's good. It's a deal. Big, perfect pieces like this. There's a nice broken piece. Big chunk of sandstone, look at that. Try to get all that off, there'll be cavities in there. The diamond inside it. The big quartz. I was just thinking, any big quartz? Maybe calcite.
some crunchy down there. Bucket number two, looking just good. Mm. Number four, got a conglomerate. That's the old type that Shirley Strawn likes to see. Got the real small pieces all packed together. Look at that. That's so cool. And got some reddish color to it. Seeing some really nice pieces of Jasper. I'm saving all of these and I'm going to have them on my eBay store. This stuff looks different right here. Wow. It's a little different. Okay, bucket number five so far. We just, right now I'm washing bucket number five and it's really super like these two. And you won't believe all the gravel. Especially all the red gravel. It's just loaded with red jasper. I mean, it's everywhere. And just look at all of it. There's some good stuff right here. Man, this is awesome. Man, just look at all of that. 
not seeing much agate. Getting some conglomerate here and there. There's, I'm seeing some calcite like this one. That's a heavy indicator. It's not the best. But if we could see some heavy indicators in here, we will for sure see some big diamonds. Not seeing any quartz. Which is weird. Can't wait to see the bottom classifier. It should be loaded with gravel and diamonds. I just dumped number five classifier into the bucket. And right here, I'm seeing something really shiny. Almost too shiny, like quartz. Yeah, right. Right there. Yeah, it's a quartz. Which is good because I haven't really been seeing any. I mean, it just can't be gravel. You got to see some spinel, calcite, hematite, magnetite. Need some red jasper. Need some red garnets. And you will definitely have a diamond. Not seeing those, it's going to be hard to get a diamond. Okay, just dumped the bottom classifier of bucket number six. And when I was down in the hole, I saw something really shiny go into my scooper. I'm hoping it's a big diamond. So I was looking in here. And I saw something really shiny. Of course now I don't see it. Oh right there. Right here. That's something right there. It wasn't that, but looks like we got a diamond right there. A flawless diamond. White. Yep. Diamond. That's a diamond guys. Beautiful diamond too. Can't see we can't grab it with the fingers. Oh yeah, I got it. Look at that diamond. That's a flawless diamond. It's like appears to be a flawless white diamond. And when I was down in my hole, I saw something bigger than this, even shinier. So maybe that 3 4 carat flawless is coming. Ooh, that's a nice little soccer ball, too. Nice and round. That's a nice little soccer ball. Nice and rounded. Beautiful. All right, successful trip from the Crater Diamonds. I've got several buckets to wash. That's out of 10 buckets. Okay, I'm working on the buckets with the nasty, smushy material. And it actually has some pretty good gravel come out of it. Let's take a look at this concentrated material. You can see something right there. Looks like a piece of quartz. Oh, another quartz. Pretty good stuff right here. Lots of red jasper. Man. Okay, all the buckets are washed up. Here's some of the rocks that I saved. I've got to go through all of these smaller rocks. There could be like a four carat with this stuff. It's that good. Here's my bucket of concentrates to take home. All right, we've already got one diamond out of there. It's a flawless white diamond. Let's go get it registered. And I've already got one diamond out of here. Let's go get that diamond registered. All right, we are now set up and ready to get all the heavy minerals removed and bagged up. And here's the material. This material is from the hole. This material is from the surface. I've already picked out one diamond out of this material from the hole. So there should be more. And hopefully that really bright, shiny something I saw is a two carat plus flawless diamond. Here is my gravel bed. This is where I make my centers. 
make the flips right here you want some type of bed that way your centers don't get blowed out and cavities and there is the first center made and right about oh let's see where was that I noticed something kind of a frosty color right there right there by those red two little red jaspers there's a little frosty looking rock right there sometimes these diamonds have a frost texture they're not metallic so you want to look for that frosty look because sometimes the diamonds are, they're not metallic they're a frost and this man I need to get that guy back out of there yeah we'll have to get that on the tester it looks like quartz to me but like I say sometimes these are a frost look and nothing metallic about them the centers from the hole are not the best stuff let's get down here and take a better look at them but you can see right there I'm just not seeing any garnets or really not much spinel or hematite or magnetite or anything worth a flip that's the way it goes digging a hole you never know till you get the buckets out and wash them that's out of 10 buckets so I got one diamond so far out of 10 buckets that doesn't mean there's gonna be diamonds on the final step sometimes when you dig a hole I've heard stories of old timers saying they didn't find any diamonds on the center they found all their diamonds on the tray going over the final step you can see how this gravel is bleaching out turning white that's not a good indicator Check out those heavies. Bags available soon on my eBay store. Let's take a look at this center up close. Oh wow, look at that, amazing. There is some spinel. Not seeing no garnets. I need the garnets. Garnets are heavier than the diamonds. Okay, working on material that was from a hole and from the field. That's what these three are. These are all the uh, reflips right here from the hole. Just uh, amazing. There's even a little garnet right, right there. If you can see that, a beautiful garnet finally showed up. That'll be going in somebody's bag of the final step material from the crater of diamond state part that i earth that i offer on my ebay store and getting back over to these this is just amazing look at all the heavy minerals that is insane mm -mm -mm. let me know if you see a diamond it's crazy And there's the last of the material. Let's take a closer look at them. All of this is from the snake pit. Wow, look at that stuff. Let me know if you see a diamond. 
loaded with heavy minerals. Let's take a look at this one right here up close. Maybe there's a diamond yawking spot. Wow. Didn't find one diamond out of all the centers I made from my last trip. So I guess the diamonds will be found on the final step going over your material on a pizza pan or cookie sheet or a flat surface, looking at every single rock. Get your bags ordered today. All right, I got everything loaded up. I'm gonna head over to the Diamond Discovery Center and have them register the diamond we found. Let's get up there. under the shade tree ah ah Boots washed off and get the mud off the wagon, and we'll go get this diamond registered. It looks to be flawless. I'm gonna guess it's a 24 point. About the wagon. I used to worry about the wagon when I had a truck. No, oh. no, oh, you're good. Okay. Okay. Please, through here. Cheers. Okay, now we are on our way. Uh, it looks like the stand in line. Crap. Each person is allowed to take five five gallon buckets of washed material. It's not just one bucket. Right here's the sign. Only five, five gallons per person per day. It's not one bucket. You can take five buckets home. Let's see what we've found lately. Thirty-two point looks like the biggest. Next. Yep. I don't know you. How good are you? Pretty good at spotting the diamond? Pretty good. <laughs> that look like one? 
Here we go. I have one guy that was we may want to have put that back. All right, if I have this looked at. Sorry? Is it okay if I have this looked at? You what? Have it looked at. Or something? Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Please. Right. You want to put it in that or yeah. put it back in the vial? Put it yeah. Back in the vial. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be careful. Please. That thing's going to roll around. That's a little ball. Uh, <laughs> Uh, oh, we have some glass. That oh, came that from the field. When my parents came here in 68, they filled up a whole car full of glass bottles. Here's the master, JR. How you doing, sir? Oh, doing a lot better after today, getting that little burger popping out of my. I just looked down in my tub and picked it out. Then you have to make a circa or a center. That's, that's the way to go, right there. Isn't Even better, yeah. All right, give me a moment. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thanks. All the minerals that can be found. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then uh, just hand it over to that part okay. right there and he'll get it over to me. Alrighty. So, let's see, here's the form. You have to fill out a form. When you find a diamond, this is the form. A deep hole, sifting in water, more than one feet. That's that's a new one right there. And you sign it. What is today's date? It's the fourth. The oh, seventh already? Oh. It's the third. Oh, what is it? Third. Three. Oh, is it really? Okay, it's right there. Yeah, three. Yeah. I'm still thinking we're in February. Let's see. Uh, so it's a uh, three dash three dash twenty four. Alrighty. There you go. They've got some fun little games. And that's whose hole I found. I was in one of James's hole. I seen the Dr. Pepper bottle, buckets upside down. We were definitely in James Archer's gravel. And I'm going to guess it is a 20 point flawless white. There's some big diamonds found lately. Seven carat found this year. Big dookie, big dookie diamond. And check out that four carat. Nice frosty. Huh, the Evans diamond. That's funny because when I was going to find my big diamond, it's going to be called the Ivans diamond. Yep, one day you get the Ivans diamond.
All right, well, it is time to get out of here. Successful trip at the Crater of Diamonds out of 10 buckets. And I haven't even made the centers. So hopefully I'll get that really big shiny thing I saw on the center, you know, two carat. And the rest of the gravel goes to my supporters. I don't make the final step. I don't look at the material on the tray. I leave that up to my Patreon. If you'd like to sign up and become an element and gemstone collector, I will ship you a bag of unsearched diamond ore every month. That's right, we're starting back Patreon monthly packages and it will consist of unsearched diamond ore from the Crater Diamond State Park. Plus there will be tons of other goodies with the unsearched diamond ore. There'll be a link in the description below, so be sure and order your bags. Every 100th bag sold, buyer receives a diamond guaranteed. And we are just about 30 bags maybe away from the 600th diamond. I'm sorry, from the 600th bag sold on eBay. I'm out of breath. That's a long walk. <sighs> What was he talking about? We made it out once again. Oh man. very busy for a Sunday but it is school season spring is coming spring breakers will be here in a week or two this parking lot will be full and you won't find me here <laughs> 